I became a Methodist when I joined this congregation. And when I promised to resist injustice and oppression wherever I might find it, I meant it. I don't remember any loophole being given for the Methodist Church itself. I now have three young adult kids who are 25, 23, and 19, who were raised and nurtured in the Methodist Church. They were baptized at this altar by their pastor. They were confirmed at this altar by their pastor. The three of them have each turned out to be smart, funny, compassionate, contributing competent young adults who I am humbled to say live my values better than I ever will. My three kids also represent a variety of sexual orientations, gender identities, and gender expression. The variety does not change what I've always wanted for them and what I've tried to teach them is important. To have healthy, authentic relationships with someone they love and who will love them for themselves just as they are and just as they aren't. The biological and logistical details are so much less important than healthy, loving communication, than forming a true partnership, than building a spiritual and faith-based foundation to their homes. Christian marriage is a covenant witnessed and affirmed by a faith community. And my three kids have always been nurtured by their faith community. Why do I care about marriage equality in the Methodist Church? because I became a Methodist to raise my children. And as a future mother of the celebrant, I'm resisting injustice and oppression to hold the Methodist Church accountable to the larger gospel of Jesus Christ. As a Methodist, I believe love should open the doors to equality. We all are the same.